you strong. Hey guys, it's Lisa here and today I'm going to show you how to draw trend lines, how to find cross supports because people are still struggling with those. So um, let's have a look and jump into this quickly. I've got a clean BTC chart. I'm going to share that chart with you. Um, it's got my standard indicators on it. So my standard indicators are the volume. Uh, this is the visual profile visual range volume this gives me an indication where money is coming in and out of the market uh, i've got the 9 and 21 emas and i've got the 100 and 200 mas on these charts uh, you can often see these um, on my charts like all of the time um, i also sometimes have um, i also mostly have uh, RSI, M MACD, it's not necessary to show you uh, that in this uh, lesson, basically. So let's have a look how to draw a trend line. So basically a trend line is um, exactly that. It's a line that follows a trend. Um, so we find them by connecting three pivot points. It's not a trend line until it has three touches. So um, if it's got two touches, it's the start of a trend line. Until it has the three touches and that holds, then it's that's a trend line. So we get our we go into Trading View and we get our trend line tools. Uh, you can see up the top here we've got all different ones. So we go to our trend line. So and basically we find three connecting points. So we can see um, on Bitcoin here, if we draw a trend line in this region, we are connecting it in three points. So one, we've got one, two, three, four points that are connecting. So um, I'll just put an arrow so you can all see. So we've got one, two, and three connecting points so that gives us our trend line so the price movement broke away from that trend line um, so therefore we get a new trend line so um, and that's what we want to see we want to see on the the third or the fourth bounce to that trend line actually it's a fourth uh, that it holds and it continues up so if we we go to the next trend line We've got one, two, three points here. So we've got our first point here. So we've got that continues. And then we've got our next trend line, which is here and here. So there are our three points of interest, which means that's the trend line. So, and it has become very bullish at this point and continued up. So now we get our new trend line. So this is our new trend line. So we've got the first point of this intersecting trend line here. Um, our second point of our trend line is, uh, we could say it's here. And then our third point is here and we've continued up. So we will more than likely in this region because we've got, uh, as I've said in previous videos, about the MAs, we often get resistance on those levels. So we should probably get a retest, a fourth retest to this trend line. So at some point around here. So that, and, and that's also the 200 MA. So this is 45, sort of 500 ish to 45 ish on Bitcoin. Um, so that's how we determine a trend line. How we determine a resistance is basically the opposite way. So if we, we get our trend line and we draw it this way, I'll turn that red, that's a resistance. So we can see that at this point, it's hit three times and it's gone down. So if we turn that red, so we've got one, two, three. So often if it doesn't uh, on the, if it doesn't break through on the third, fourth go, then it will break down. 
So that's, uh, it'll often, it'll reject on the first two to three goes, and then it will usually pass or reject. So if it rejects on the fourth time, it's usually a deeper correction. So that's what you do need to remember. So there's always three touches and the fourth is either a breakthrough or a breakdown. The same as, as this region as well. So there's often three touches and then it takes off. So it's like one, two, three. We did get four touches here and then it's taken off. So we've got one, two, three, and then it's taken off. So if we normally on a fourth touch, on a fourth retest, it will break down. So or on a resistance, on a, it, a fourth retouch, it'll either break through or break down, as we see here. So we've broken through on this fourth time. So this, um, we can see is, is how you draw these resistance and how we draw a support or a trend line. So um, in this region here, um, we can see we can't, we can't draw a clear resistance at this point because we don't know, we don't have enough formed waves to, to say that it's going to be here or it's it, where it is. So at the moment, uh, we would look at lower resistance. So we're looking here and we're going, okay, so these waves come down here. We've probably got a resistance in this region. It'll fill out here a little bit more. So, but that's not confirmed yet. So it's not a confirmed resistance. How we get these, uh, the cross supports that we see um, me drawing are by these connecting points. So if we, we turn this line, I'm gonna turn this line uh, green. So if we, how we get the, the across support, so this is our trend line and our cross supports uh, cross through those. So we can see that we've got one resistance here and then we, we come across. So we find that this point here is a resistance. It then is this, we connect it to this wave here, this pivot, and then here on the third one, we find our bounce. So that then gives us a, a, a pivot point or a bounce that will continue up. So that's our cross support. So that's how we find them. So if we're looking for a cross support in this region, um, it's a little bit more difficult. So, cause we, we don't have sort of, it's a bit sort of jumbled up. Um, like if we're looking for clear cross supports, uh, this is probably not a great chart, but we can see that in this region here, we've got um, a resistance that we can drag across to this area. So if this wave breaks down, we have a cross support here, which is 43,000 um, on Bitcoin. So it's not unlikely that that could be possible. And that doesn't break pattern on Bitcoin on the um, Elliott wave. So for those that are following me. Um, so yeah, so it's, it's quite possible that Bitcoin's going to fill out this region a little bit more. Uh, if we're looking for cross supports, we've got a, a resistance here, a support region here, and you know, it crosses with a trend line in this region. So I would then put a star here as a possible region that could bounce if it does break down. So, and it's only providing that this trend line, so we've got an intact trend line at the moment. So if this uh, bounce here, when we get the return of this wave, if this happens, then this may not be likely. So what uh, kind of should happen is this wave will come down, it will bounce up and it may come down again. So, and then therefore our cross support um, happens. And, and if you're looking at this wave, we've got one, two, three, on the fourth wave, it breaks down. So um, it is very possible in a bull market that that wave holds as well. But uh, they're the, the variations on the scenarios that we look for when we're trading. So nothing's guaranteed in trading. Uh, and that's why we, have, we trade with stop losses because obviously we want to be safe and protect our profits. And um, so, yeah, so this is how we get these trend lines, how we draw them, how we draw cross supports. Uh, any questions, please let me know in the comments here and um, on Twitter. More than happy to help. Thank you for watching, guys.